Okay, here's the glue up for the uh, three-dimensional end grain cutting board. Each one of these has uh, three pieces. That one's down in there a bit. They're not all the same length. Boatloads of sawing and boatloads of Mr. Dewalt planer. This is, the preparation for this is pretty intense. These are the dividing pieces that will go between each of the, the squares, the assembled squares, which is what this is. And I have two different kinds of dividing pieces. So that's all ready to go, be glued on tomorrow. Here's the next glue up with the um, dividers. Okay, I'm about 80% finished with this cutting board. Um, I just finished sanding for about an hour and a half. I lucked out, it didn't mess it up too bad. I've still got some sanding to do, and uh, I'm amazed at how many voids or gaps there still are. Even after all that careful cutting, planing, clamping, this side doesn't have too many, but this side is like, Seriously, <laughs> how in the world did these gaps? I finished filling in the voids with sawdust and glue. I don't think most people, when they look at things, wood things, realize the amount of cleanup work that has to be done. I mean, I cut these so precise on the planer, on my saw, and clamped as best I could, and still, all these voids. So, fill them in with glue and sawdust. Wait till they dry and looks, usually looks perfect. Nobody can tell unless they know what they're doing. Okay, here is the board just before oiling. I'm gonna use this walrus oil and walrus wax. It's probably just mineral oil. <laughs> Brand it can cost me a lot more. Actually, it says it has coconut oil and beeswax and what else is in there? Min mineral oil, beeswax, coconut oil, vitamin E. Ooh, vitamin E. Here's what it looks like half oiled and I have a few glue spots I've got to re-sand but man the oil makes it pop doesn't it? Here's the 3D end grain waffle cutting board. <laughs> hey it looks pretty good. I like the way it turned out. It uh, ended up being 11 by maybe 15 maybe 15 and a quarter. I think it's an inch and a quarter thick. I just have it resting on piece of wood the um i think i'm going to put some bumper feet on it but i'm not sure yet i ordered them it's, this is for my wife and let's see if she wants the bumper feet or not